Welcome to another Geometry Notes tutorial. In this video I will show you how to create a procedural snowfall with an optional spherical shape for a snow globe animation. Let's get started. At first open the Geometry Notes editor and create a new group. Then you can detach the group input because we are going to use a procedural geometry, which is a grid. Edit and connect it to the group output. Then plug a distribute points on faces in between. Now you have some values to adjust, like the grid size or the point density. Every snowflake will be one point. To do that, add an instances on points node afterwards and use an icosphere node as the instance. Adjust the radius to have little snowflakes on the surface of the grid. To see it better, you can add a set material node at the end of the node tree and adjust the viewport display of that material. You can overshoot the value of the color, which is basically the brightness, to see it better in the viewport. Then it's a really bright white and you can spot the little instances pretty well. Now we want to move all of these instances down to animate the snowfall. For that you need a set position node where we are going to animate the Z value. To animate that you need a value node where you type hashtag frame in the slider. Now the slider represents the current frame and will count up if you start the timeline. When you just plug the value node to a combine XYZ node and then use the Z value for the offset you can see that happening. It will move the points one unit upwards per frame. Now you can use a math divide node on a pretty high negative value to slow that motion down and change the direction. After that the snowflakes will fall down slowly. But of course it is way too uniform. To change that we will use the index of every point to create an offset in the animation. Just subtract the index from the value before the divide node. Now we kind of changed the pattern that every point has a slightly different height, but it still has a pattern. That's because the point indices aren't random enough. We can change that by reassigning the indices to the points in a more random way. Just connect the index node to a random value node on integer as the ID. And use that output instead. Now the pattern is totally randomized. With the max slider you can adjust the height of this instance's tower. Alright, now every point moves down at a different position. What we have to do now is to animate a whirl effect, like wind blowing the snowflakes around. For that we want to rotate these instances. So just use a rotate instances node. You need the values from the value node which displays the current frame. So just take that string and connect it to a combine XYZ node on Z, which you connect to the offset input. I will just tidy up this a bit to keep a clean overview. So now every snowflake rotates around its own center. But we want to change the center for every snowflake so that they rotate in a bigger circle to animate that wind blowing effect. For that use a random value node and use a tiny spread like minus 0.05 to plus 0.05. Connect that to the pivot point input. It is working good, but of course they rotate way too fast. So just add another math divide node before the combine XYZ to decrease the big frame values. Now you have nicely falling snowflakes as a tower to put in a scene. You can add another random value node to multiply the values from the divide node. By this you randomize the rotation value, so they don't rotate that uniformly anymore. Now some are faster and some are slower. If you want to adjust these rotation center values, you can simplify that by adding another value node and connect it to the max slider of the random value node. Then connect that same value node to the min slider with a math multiply on minus 1 in between. Now you can change the value slider and adjust the spread of the rotation center more easily. Alright, this looks pretty fine to me now. So when you only want snow for a normal scene you are finished at this point. But if you want the snow animation for a snow globe, so inside a sphere, you can proceed with the following. 
just add an empty object as the center of the sphere where you want to limit the snowflakes. Then you can drag that object inside of the geometry nodes tree. Now you need a scale instances node for the snowflakes. Use a math vector node to calculate the distance between the object's location and the position of the snowflakes. Then connect that calculated distance as the scale for the scale instances node. Now you can move that object to see that the points are scaling down as they come closer to the object. Connect a color ramp in between to control that scaling behavior. In my case I want white to be on the left side because a small distance should scale the snowflakes to 1, which is white. Slide that white slider almost all the way to the right so that the snowflakes get scaled down to 0 pretty quickly when they hit the distance threshold. After you did that, you can run the animation and see that the snowflakes are now only visible inside of that distance area. And now you are finished. You can add a glass sphere now to the position of the empty object and the snowflakes won't leave the sphere. If you found this video helpful, feel free to subscribe to my channel. Merry Christmas and see you soon!